Hello everyone. Today I'll be talking to you about TOR deroofing of prosthetic abscess. We have a 47 year old male patient diabetic on antibiotic for past one month evaluated elsewhere. He is febrile at present with a count of around 14,500. Urine cultures are sterile. TTKUB was suggestive of prosthetic and seminal vasical abscess. Initial cystoscopy is done which looks normal. Using 26 French TUR sheet, the prostate was resected, starting from the neck. We tried to preserve the neck as the patient was very young. As the abscess was in both the lobe, as we went little deeper, we could see frank pus coming out of the prostate. So in the same area, we resected more and have de-roofed the abscess. The trick here is not to cut on the floor because the abscess may erode or may have some communication or the adjoining area may be very friable and may form fistula. So avoid cutting on the floor. We need to do point coagulation and we don't have to do a bank blanket coagulation. The floor of the abscess should not be coagulated more. It will have a lot of granulation tissue which will ooze but usually will settle with irrigation. The tissues are removed and few tissues are also sent for culture. Better to send it for both bacteriological and fungal culture and in case doubt exists for TB as well. The water is cut off and the final fossa is seen for any pee. Good antibiotic coverage and glassing control is must for doing de-roofing of prosthetic abscess. Just de-roof the abscess, avoid cutting on the floor as a demarcation with the rectum is lost and we may end up in having fistula if we cut more on the floor. We did not do a formal TUR in case of prosthetic abscess as once the abscess is de-roofed, the pus is drained, the fossa has collapsed and we have a wide fossa. We need to keep the OR time short as these patients are prone to land up in sepsis. Always use point coagulation and we should avoid coagulating especially on the floor which have got lot of granulation tissues. <coughs> on the floor there will be lot of granulation tissue which will keep on oozing and Usually this bleeding stops with good irrigation. The catheter insertion may be difficult and we may have to railroad the catheter on a guide wire. Not all cases need SPC, few cases may need. We need to warn the patient for transient incontinence as because of the inflammatory process the sphincter may be loose when the abscess is very near to the sphincter. It's better to keep the catheter for 5 to 7 days. Thank you.